Right, where I am right now, nothing is sticking quite yet. I've seen snow falling, but as soon as it hits the ground, it's melting. So yeah, not too much uh, measurable snow here right now. I'm going to step out of the way. Look at this. You can see some of it snow qualmy. Yeah, nothing there as far as snow on the ground. It's a little bit bare, but hey, walk with me over here. We can see wet pavement. So it, like I said, we have seen some snow and some grapple uh, falling, but it's melting as soon as it falls. And I really love these mountains over here. It's a gorgeous view. You can see green trees, no snow capped trees, trees quite yet. Clouds are in the way, but if those clouds weren't there, they were, they had moved a little bit earlier. We could see some snow capped mountains in the distance. Some parts of Western Washington did see snow today, especially over the Olympic Peninsula, but this is just the beginning by this weekend. We could see snow here. And I did speak to one person driving today back home to Montana. He said he's ready for winter travel. The summer kit just got put away. The winter kit has now been put in. So there's shovel and <laughs> extra water, chains, sand, all that's in the cars. Anytime I go over a pass, that's how we work. Washdot shared this video of snow plows clearing roads at Stevens Pass. They have seen more snow than what we're seeing here at Snoqualmie, but like I said, we are expecting snow by this weekend. We have to get through a very wet atmospheric river first, though. That, like Mike mentioned, I know he's going to get to that exact timing coming up in his full forecast. And we, of course, will continue to keep you updated on the status of all the passes. Reporting live from Snoqualmie Pass, Leah Pizzetti, King 5 News.